Hello everyone, this is Akash. In this video, I will show you a 2-in-1 circuit. You can control your home appliances as well as your RC card using a single remote. Okay. So let's take a demo of this circuit. You can also control your RC car using this remote. Okay, so let's connect our RC car. Now take a look of our RC car. This is the receiver module which I used in my previous home appliances video. Okay, this is that L298N motor driver module, and this is our 12 volt homemade battery. Okay, and here you can see this is our 100 rpm motors. You can use any motors according to your choice. Okay, this is our castor wheel. Okay, okay, let's take a demo of this circuit. <laughs> This video is sponsored by LCC.com. They provide all kind of electronic components at low prices. Now simply open LCC.com and search your desired components. Also you can search your product category wise. Just scroll down your mouse and here you can see the necessary categories. The best thing I have noticed that they provide the parts detail like package name, manufacturer details, also the data sheet of the parts, which is great. Now just add your desired component into cart. Now click on secure checkout. Now fill your shipping address and pay through PayPal or your debit card or credit card. The packaging of this product is too good. Each product is individually packed with description like the component's name and its quantity. Thanks to lcc.com for sending me the components for my projects. Guys, I divided the whole circuit into four segment. Okay, here you can see this is the transmitter circuit. Okay, this is our receiver circuit, and this is our, our the relay driver circuit. You can control your home appliances by using this setup, and this is our wireless motor driver circuit. You can control your RC car using this circuit. Okay, so this is our transmitter circuit. This is the power switch of this circuit. And this is the four input okay this is our antenna this is the antenna and this is negative power supply and this is the positive power supply you can use a 5 volt uh, power supply or even a 3.7 volt battery okay okay this is our receiver circuit you can see 
here this is our four leds one two three four okay this is our four leds and this is our four output one two three four this is our four output of this circuit okay and this is the power input of this circuit you can use a 5 volt or even 9 volt or 12 volt power supply in this circuit okay this is our relay driver circuit and this is the whole setup this is our four input input a input b input c and input d this is the four inputs here one two three four okay and this is our 12 volt input this is our 12 volt input of this device because we use a 12 volt relay that's why we use a 12 volt power supply if you use a 5 volt relay in that case you will need a 5 volt power supply okay this is our 220 volt input signal this is your AC input here you can see this is the 220 volt AC supply this is the 220 volt AC supply input and this is our output this is our 4 output okay you can use any home appliances according to your choice you can use a LED bulb you can use uh, your fan you can use your mobile charger you can use your uh, any light and everything anything you want okay let's see you know this is our 4 output of this circuit output A, output B, output C, output D the all the output of this circuit will be connected to the input of this circuit okay like this way so all the four wires will be connected similar way okay and this is our power supply input circuit this is a positive and this is a negative okay and here is the 12 volt input signal of the relay circuit okay this is our home appliances setup now take a look of our RC car receiver circuit okay this is the L298 motor driver module and this is our receiver circuit okay I connect the whole setup according to the circuit diagram as you can see okay the output of the RX module is connected to the input of the L298 motor driver module here is the four inputs okay. one two three four okay I connect all the setup according to the circuit diagram here you can see the whole setup according to the circuit diagram this is the four input signal of your L298 motor driver module and here you can see uh, the, the first one is a 12 plus 12 volt input the middle one is the ground and the third one is a 5 volt output okay if you put a 5 volt uh, here you can see there is a 5 volt regulator present in this circuit so you can uh, get a 5 volt output from this terminal okay from this terminal so and this is the ground terminal okay so you can get 5 volt uh, from this setup this is our homemade 12 volt battery let's connect the whole circuit this is our two, uh, positive supply of the circuit okay. this is a ground and we use another wire you can see the circuit is switched on when, when I connect the ground supply okay this is our ground and this is this will be connected in this way now this is our plus 5 volt output of this circuit we connect this 5 volt into this circuit okay so you don't need an external 5 volt power supply in this setup now our circuit is almost complete now here you can see there is two four output for a motor terminal here is the output 4 
output 3 this is our output 1 and this is our output 2 okay now connect your motor positive terminal to the plus output 3 and negative terminal to the output 4 and here is your motor 1 we can connect the positive supply to output 1 and the negative supply to output 2 so your circuit is complete i hope you like this video guys and if you like this video please give a thumbs up also subscribe my channel for more updates